We don't spend enough time on this show talking about the fact that the market hasn't been normal for the bulk of the last three years. Ever since COVID hit, we've jumped from a crash to a speculative mania to rampant inflation to this year's terrific bear market coupled with a post-pandemic reopening. Now, though, the pandemic's mostly defeated, at least outside of China, and we're getting many signs that inflation could be cooling. And we may even be able to beat inflation without experiencing a recession. We had a 2.9% GDP growth in the last in the third quarter, for heaven's sake. A soft landing, I'm calling it very much on the table. In short, maybe the economy's normalizing here, or at least the Fed chief thinks it could be soon to normalize. And in a normal environment, stock picking is much more about identifying the best players in a given industry. Rather than just jumping from sector to sector to keep up with all those crazy rotations, which you know I don't like you to do. There's just one problem. we got to make these best of breed lists from scratch. So much has changed in the last three years. So tonight we're taking a stab at this for the restaurant stocks. One of the most straightforward groups because they're totally consumer facing. You know these stocks. They're not like the opaque cloud-based software plays, the trading data or analytics or customer relations management. They're, that's all pretty abstract unless you deal with it for work. By contrast, you don't need a computer science degree to understand what McDonald's does. And I think most computer scientists don't know what McDonald's does, so it's perfect. Now, we used to have a bunch of different favorites in the restaurant space. Domino's Pizza was a fabulous winner for the better part of a decade, but it's struggling in the post-COVID world, which is why it's now a show-me story. We liked Wendy's, too, but that became a meme stock last year. It hasn't traded right ever since. Plus, one of the great Baconator consumers of all time has stopped because John Oliver made fun of her vice. We'll leave her name out of it. So tonight, I want to give you three of my new favorites, three restaurant stories that work right here, right now, each representing a different kind of investment. I'm talking about Chipotle's, McDonald's, and Restaurant Brands International. First time on that one. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.